Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is the first of my Halloween month and it is this cracked doll look for you guys. Um, I did post a photo on Instagram yesterday and it did look different to this. It was still a doll makeup but it looked different to this and I've actually now used a reference image to get this look which I will put up here for you guys. So, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So, I'm starting off with my regular foundation, which is Gallery Moisture Foundation. And just applying that all over my face. I'm also mixing in uh, Makeup Revolutions SFX Whitener with this. Just to sort of kind of A, match my skin tone and B, lighten sort of my face makeup. Because... Like I say, I'm meant to be a creepy doll, and they do have such perfect complexions, so that's why I'm mixing it all in. And I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender. Then I am going in with my Essence uh, Camouflage uh, Concealer, and just applying that in the normal places I would normally apply it. And again, blending out with a beauty blender. Then I'm going in with my Barry M Feeling Cheeky palette and the contour shade in this palette. And just drawing in the contour lines of a doll. So they do have quite unique contour lines. So... I'm starting off by using a small angled brush to do this and then going in with my regular contour brush to try and blend it all out. As you will see it doesn't really work for me so I opt for a different method. I'm taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and contour in that way. Like I say they have such unique contour that you may have to opt for this method. Then I'm going in with my Helen E Feeling Cheeky um, blush and just applying that to the apples on my cheeks and my nose. Then I'm going in with my new Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm starting by taking sort of a soft orange shade from this palette. And then I'm going in with a darker brown shade just to darken up the corners. Then I'm going in with a white eyeliner pencil. This one is from MUA. And just drawing under my lower lash line. Where you would normally apply shadow and putting that pencil on my waterline. This will really open up my eyes and give me that doll like look. Then I'm going in with my Dazzle Liquid Eyeliner. This part is optional, you don't have to use eyeliner, but I always have a winged liner effect, so I thought I'd pop one into this look as well. Then I'm going in with my Colosso Mascara and just applying that to my top lashes. Then I'm taking that same angled brush from earlier and I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm taking a deep brown for this and just lining that white eyeliner just so it really stands out a little bit more. Then I'm going in with my NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil and just drawing in my eyebrows how I normally would.
Then I'm going in with my NYX Va Velvet Matte Lipstick and just creating a dull lip style with this. Now this is just a wearable doll makeup but if you want to get the horror and the cracked doll makeup then keep on watching. So I'm starting by going in with my Makeup Revolution SFX palette and I'm using the black shade in this. Now I'm just going to do a quick review with this palette, it's really good and you honestly don't need a lot of water to get the face paints activated. Anyway. I am just going to draw a series of cracks along my face. So I'm starting from the centre of my face and working outwards. So yeah, like I say, this palette is a really good palette. You do not need a lot of water to activate the paints and they do glide quite smoothly when applying them to your face. So I'm just going to fill in the areas that I have left open to fill in and I'm also going to darken the whole thing up um, off camera because it is quite a time consuming process. It took me about 15 minutes to do the initial design and then I went over with some more black face paint just to darken up some of those lines that weren't quite as visible as I wanted them to be. So next I'm going in with the white face paint from this palette and I'm just putting it in certain areas along the cracks just to add some highlight and make it look a little bit more realistic rather than just being a flat sort of cracked face. I then went over some areas with the black face paint just to neaten it all up and now I'm going in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and taking a brown shade from this palette and just applying that along in some of the cracks just to give it more of a realistic look. And I'm just putting back in those contour lines with this colour as well, just to darken it up as well. And then you have it. So that's it for this video guys, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share and subscribe. 
All products will be listed down below for you guys along with all of my social media and I will put alternatives to the high end products I used. If you want to create this look using only drugstore makeup that's also possible. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!